UI Business School is the oldest business school in Spain and the third oldest business school in Europe. We work mainly on several axes such as sustainability, innovation, technology and entrepreneurship. Something we've been doing for many years now is to send our students abroad uh, for one, two weeks um, in the so-called study trips or field trip uh, programs. But then uh, some months ago we thought why don't we do it vice versa? I mean why don't we put together a pretty different program aimed at different international students coming from different parts of the world. There's so many challenges nowadays, uh, not only in terms of the financial crisis itself, but also in terms of the environmental and energy crisis, social inequalities, that led us to think that what the world needs today actually is what we call uh, change agents. This is people not only with the values, but also with the skills and tools to change things. And that's why we decided to name the course Becoming Change Agents, Values and Skills for the Future. So what I'm going to do is uh, work with the participants to reflect critically on what development is. And um, in order to do that, I want the participants to question and challenge our notions of development by sharing their different perspectives of what they think development is. We're going to also do exercises around what I call future scenarios. And that is really getting the participants to think about what kind of world are we creating and how will that world look in a hundred years time. So we'll get participants to really think in a very exciting and interactive way about their visions of the future and how we can make parts of them or a contribution from them into something real and solid. So the last section that I will be doing relates to multi-stakeholder partnerships. It's an area I've worked on for many years and it really looks at development in the sense that no one sector of society, no one social actor can address the challenges we face on their own. We need the input of the public sector, the private sector and various civil society organisations, trade unions, social enterprises, universities, community organisations working together in order to make changes. So the nature of this last session is very much intended to equip participants with practical skills on how to work with people from different cultures different organisations from different contexts so they can actually make practical changes working with others to begin to make this contribution to change and act as solid change agents. This course is an opportunity to avoid conventional thinking. This is an opportunity to think about the appealing features of the crisis. As a matter of fact, this course should be an invitation to avoid commonplaces. Essentially, we want to see how rational decisions may lead to irrational and unsustainable outcomes. In addition, we'll make a reflection about efficiency, equity and sustainability. And all these will lead to the most important discussion, why growth does not necessarily lead to prosperity and welfare. This journey has three main steps. The first one entails observing what is happening around the world, what are the main social and environmental trends, but also what are key actors doing about it, what kind of innovations can we find in the private sector, like business at the bottom of the pyramid or social entrepreneurship, in the financial sector, what are microfinance enterprises and microfinance institutions doing to solve and, and to use finance as a, as a mean to have social impact. What are the innovations in the public sector and, and, and in the non-for-profit sector? This is a way to observe the world around us and also to empathize, so to open not only our minds to what is happening, but also our hearts and to feel that we are part of it. The second step that we are inviting you to, to travel uh, with us to is, uh, is around reflecting. It's about looking inside of us and focusing on what we want to do. What is the world calling us to do? And finally, the third step, which is about acting. What are you going to do to become a change agent? Which is exactly what this course is all about. The 
one of the questions you may have asked yourself is why do you work, go to work on Monday? You know, what really makes you spark, makes you interested to actually go there and do something special there? Uh, I've been fortunate to work with entrepreneurs, with organizations that have asked that question and that have transformed their organization, their enterprise, uh, the way they work by actually going deep into what does it mean, what is the purpose of my organization and really redefining the enterprise uh, after having asked that question. There's never been a better time to actually make change happen or to be change agents, absolutely. How, you may be asking, how can I actually make this happen? And this is where learning from the stories, from the experiences of these new entrepreneurs, these innovators, we will find ways in which we can really practically redefine our enterprises and design new enterprises. Uh, you may be thinking of creating your enterprise, which is one scenario, or otherwise you may be thinking of how can I change my work environment, the current work environment, the future work environment, so as to make it uh, the kind of place where you really feel that you fit. I look forward to walking this journey with you. It's definitely going to be a shared path when we really go deep into what is important to us and allow us to really not just redefine the enterprise, but be able to create a new kind of enterprise. The kind of enterprise we would love to go to work on on Monday. Of course, we're not pretending to change the world through this course, but we definitely want to contribute to create a critical mass in society starting to see things in a different way. Mm -hmm.